Okay, so we can see what happened here. This is the replacement part. The piece uh, on the end here, you can see it right here, is deteriorated. And the seal actually fits on that piece. And that's why it looked like the seal was separated. It was just sitting there by itself because this had come apart from the uh, main body. So a replacement part here. Picked it up at Advance Auto. Now the next job is to uh, transfer the uh, temperature sensor from one to the other. So that turns off fairly easily. I'll probably clean this up. Put some Teflon, new Teflon on there. Okay, so we'll clean the threads on this sensor. And that should be plenty. You don't want to go mad with torque on here. This is plastic. Okay, so make sure you clean up the surface here where the uh, new water outlet is going to seat. Get a rag in there, clean it up. If there's any, um, any buildup. It looks like this has some buildup in it, so I'm probably going to go over this lightly with a little steel wool or some sandpaper. And then there's a couple seals right in here. You can see this. There's a seal on this return tube. Return line here. So I'm trying to grab a hold of that right now and get it off of there. There it comes. Okay, we got rid of him. So there's a seal in this kit came with a seal kit. <coughs> There's the one that goes on the return line. Okay, all is ready. I'll put the outlet back in. Okay, making sure the gasket is still in place. It, it, it gets pulled in by the mounting bolts to some extent. And it doesn't seat in all the way just by pushing it in because it is a snug fit. So we'll probably alternate back and forth between the two. I'm going to get a light on the subject here. So one underneath here. It's a bit trickier to get in. I can't really get the camera in there to show this. Quarters are just too tight. Okay, looks like we've got the threads in there, so I'm just going to turn it by hand as far as I can. Okay. They're both snugged up. Okay. Again, 6 inch uh, extension, 10 millimeter. This is a quarter drive. So you got to get down in here. I can just see it. I'm turn it a little bit, bit more by hand. And get a ratchet on there. Pull it in. And on the other one, the uh, 3 8 inch drive works well with a 10 millimeter. Okay, don't need a whole bunch of torque on this, but <clears throat> right about there should do it. There. Okay. 
And the outlet is in there. Next we'll just have to put the hoses back on for connections. Okay, got this 10 millimeter here. This is the one that holds the uh, overflow tube in. Okay, so next, this hose, and I'll be putting a spring clamp on here. Okay, there's our upper radiator hose. Okay, the nice thing about these type of clamps is you can get them exactly where you want them. So if you have to take it off again, you can uh, position position it for easy removal. For here, for example, I'm going to try to... I'm going to get this screw up this and in this direction. Facing upward. So that I can uh, take it off easily. This is like a one and a half to two and a half inch band clamp. That's the diameter. So now all I have to do is get a screwdriver in there and tighten it up. Okay, three items to plug in. Here's a temperature unit temperature sending unit and then two more and here we have another unit here and this one goes to the spark plugs bam 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 Okay, lastly, I'm going to reseat the uh, air intake duct here. And we'll just tighten the clamps, and that'll do it. Add coolant, get the level back up where it should be. Test it and we should be all done. Thanks for watching.